Welcome back. That dog is what is is fucking huge. That's a horse. That's a wolf. Okay, that's a wolf, I guess. I'm Shane. I'm Jim. I'm Paps. And uh, we're uh, looking at the funny internet videos. So <laughs> that's what you do. I want to take back what I said earlier. I don't hate hypotheticals like that. I hate the really hard ones. And like <laughs> you just you just hate having to pick. That's <laughs> um. There was two doors. I think I went in both of them. Well, because, like, you? one yeah, of them... Oh. That one's locked. One of them's, like, uh, what if your girlfriend and your mom switched bodies and you had to have sex with one of them that changed them back? Which one would you Which pick? Which one would you pick? And, I, and I'm and i just, like... The obvious answer I is think just... I'd eat. just kill everybody involved and then move on with my <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who knows about it <laughs> gets to die. Yep. Uh, <laughs> God. Yeah, that one's rough. Are we issues? Shame. I don't want to talk about it. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I have no idea. Um, wait. <laughs> That's what wait. I'm saying. I hate ones like that. Um, uh, Use the ring on the things to turn them on fire. Oh, shit. Holy shit, Pablo. Ha <laughs> ha! You're too good at stuff. High five. I, high five. That sucked. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I do it again? Yeah, shoot, oh, you shoot found the bathroom. Pipe. These, is, these are toilets? <laughs> they look kind of they do kind of like urinals. urinals. <clears throat> you ever poop in a urinal? No. Because I'm not an asshole. Have you ever pooped in the shower? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not on purpose. You guys are retarded. <laughs> 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 Are you gonna call us retarded? <laughs> Instantly, <laughs> like no hesitation. He's like, I can't fucking believe you guys. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was it was it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> it reminds me. Uh, I saw this short web comic. I don't remember who did it, but like, this wife's talking to her husband. She's like, Do you ever pee in the shower? He's like. Yeah, sometimes on accident. She's like, oh my god, that's disgusting. And he just crosses his arms and looks at her super pissed. He's like, well, Darlene, accidents happen when you're taking a shit. (laughs) 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 It fucking killed me. (laughs) Uh, That's awesome. You ever pee in the shower? Now we're just laying it bare. Yeah, let's just be weird tonight. With Jim, Pabs, and Shane. We'll tell you all of our life stories. You all don't of start our it with a hooker. Gross, uh, I mean, as um. is after <laughs> most things in life, it all started with a hooker. <laughs> oh, you know what you have to do. I mean, I peeing to... in the shower is just reasonable. I, I don't Man. see a problem with it. You're in there to get clean. It all goes down the drain. You were peeing the uh, bath? No. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that doesn't make sense. Yeah. I don't want to be, like, soaked in pee. I, yeah. <laughs> I want to get clean. That's like... Did you see her? She's fucking burnt. Who? I mean, it's your fault. Yeah, but it's awesome. Look at her. Oh. She's charred. Holy That's shit. awesome. I mean, generally, I also don't don't take a bath unless, like... Baths are weird. And, unless my body... If my muscles are sore, I'll take a hot bath because it helps. Like when I used to do MMA, a lot of time I would just come home and then like just soak in a hot bath because then I want to feel super shitty the next day. Sure. I hear that's good. I hear that's a good thing to do. Use the fire, use the fire. Use the fire? Oh. Uh, you had like everybody there. I was, I was looking at Jim. His eyes were longing for me. Yeah. No. So I had to tell him. I mean, I told her later. Her video we should. <laughs> Just make sure to film it. <laughs> Did we came in through the top left? I don't know. Shit. <clears throat> you guys have had like nightmares and stuff, right? Never. No. You've never had a nightmare? I'm kidding. Oh man, I'm uh, well, saying you're fucking... almost daily. Uh, so go on. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, now I'm... that sucks. I don't sleep. I just sit awake. I think that's a Oh nightmare. my god. Oh. 
thinking about that is a nightmare. This thing right here is a nightmare. Did you see shit. that fucking weird gargoyle Look with that ghoul? Pointy bee nose. He just uh, looks like he drank too much. Is like, uh. what was the last time where they had? I I was gonna go in to oh, yeah. Go ahead. So, do you know what sleep paralysis is? Yeah. Yeah. I think I had that the other night. Oh shit! It fucking sucked. Like they so it's like I don't know if there's different kinds of sleep paralysis, but I think. It's like sleep paralysis, and then some people call it old hag syndrome. And they call it that because a lot of people that experience it uh, say that they, like, see a lady... Well, they don't. They see a shadowy figure that they can't ever make out that's, like, setting on them. And that's the reason why they can't move, and they can't really see it. That's but it okay. looks like a hag. And I bring that up because... I didn't have that part of it, so I don't know if it was sleep paralysis, but let me go into the whole thing. So, I was having a normal dream. I remember, this is all, it's crazy how much, it, how real it felt. Didn't I fucking turn this on? But you left the room. Nah, this is fucking dumb. So, I was having this dream. I had this dream that I was at a concert, and I was seeing a, a band called Seosin, which doesn't exist anymore. Like... They had an original singer uh, whose name was Anthony Green. He left. They got a replacement singer. And now they've been on like hiatus for a long time because they, they kicked the replacement singer out. But there's rumors that the original singer is going to come back to the band. So I had a dream that I saw the band with the original singer. And at some point during the concert, the singer like collapsed. Like he was oh, just Jesus. he was out. But everyone kept playing. Like, they were... <laughs> like, this it, is normal. Yeah, it was as if it, they were just rocking out. And then some dude came out with, like, a giant, uh, like, injection needle and just fucking stabbed him in the leg. And then he just got up and went back to, like, singing and playing and stuff. And then... The <laughs> it was fucking cool. And then <laughs> after the concert... What the fuck? I'm gonna mm. shoot that, I guess. I don't know why, but... <laughs> but it's gonna happen. So after the concert, I like talked to the singer, I talked to Anthony, and we were just talking or whatever, and all of a sudden, I was in some house, he wasn't there, wasn't in the concert anymore, but I was on the phone with the same dude, and I was like interviewing him, and I was talking to him for a little bit, that was pretty fucking cool, and a lot of damage, like 1300, yeah. like 1200. Uh, so I was talking to him, and I was like interviewing him, and I asked him... I remember I was walking towards the bathroom, and I asked him, I was like, hey, there's, uh, there's a lot of rumors about you coming back to Seosin. Uh, you know, what do you have to say about that? And he was talking or doing some bull crap. And then, all of a sudden, the doll, Chucky, from the movies? No. Uh, like, no. stepped out of the shower I guess like the shower area and like obviously had a knife and had intentions to kill me <clears throat> so so far this is just like a regular dream normally instant nightmare but for some reason in this situation like he came at me and I just I just I picked him up by his arm and I stared at him while I continued to talk on the phone <laughs> and I just dropped him into a trash can <laughs> And I was like... What are you doing now? I was like, fucking cool. Maybe I'm no longer scared. So... So that happened. I finished the first question. Second question, I'm on my way to, like, the bedroom. Uh, and I'm like... You know, you've been in with this band ever since... Uh, ever since you were you left Seosin. Like, if I haven't heard... I haven't heard much of it. Like, what do you think your favorite songs are about it? No, this is relevant, but it just continues so he starts talking about his band and like the songs that he thinks are the most meaningful and all this bull crap and then here comes chucky again and i'm like what the fuck how'd you get out of your trash can <laughs> still i'm not scared normally i really should be because he's really scary to me so everything's cool and then uh i wake up like he gets close to me and instead of me retaliating or being terrified or anything like that I wake up. I'm laying in my bed. I'm staring up at the ceiling. And I'm like, that was a really fucking weird dream. I don't think I've ever had a dream like that before. <clears throat> so I look over. Look at my clock. It's 7 a.m. 
I, it, I, you know, just woke up, took a look, and I was like, okay, there's plenty of time left before work. I'm going to go back to sleep. I turn back over. My head's, I'm laying straight forward, and, uh, like, barely any time passes, and all of the sudden, I can't move, but my eyes are still wide open, and I'm still staring at the ceiling, and I'm, like, looking around with my eyes panicked, and I can see... Like, my left and right, I can see my window, I can see, like, my other wall, but I can't move. So I'm like, I panic, I start panicking a little bit, and then I hear Chucky's voice to my left. Oh, fuck that but shit. But I can't see him because I can't move, and he's just below, like, where my bed is. He's not tall enough for me to see over it with what little bit of, like... Uh, you should heal Joseph. Oh, is he fucked up? Joseph? <laughs> <laughs> so I hear him and he's like he's, he's talking with uh, I guess I fire this chick I think she's holding a baby but oh I gotta push this in front of it so he's talking I don't I don't recall what he's saying but he's arguing with someone and that someone is you god damn it it's fucking Jim <laughs> I hear I hear Chucky talking to Jim, and he's like, Chucky's like, I'm just gonna fucking kill him. He's here, he's he's not moving, he can't do anything about it, so I'm gonna take his life. And Jim's like, you can't do that. You li like, you, it is impossible, you won't be able to do that. And, like, they go on for a little bit, and I'm freaking out, because I'm, everything is real, I'm still awake, I'm, I have to be. I can, like, feel everything, except I can't move. So I start, I'm like, okay, maybe if I start, I, I, in my head, I'm like, flail your arm. I'm like, fucking move, move it, move it. And I can feel my fingers, my hands start to like tremble a little bit. And I'm, I'm fucking trying, I'm struggling so hard to, to like, to do something as he's talking about taking my life. And eventually, like, eventually my hand like snaps really hard. And then I wake up and I swing into the air. I say wake up. I swear I was awake the whole time. My body finally moves and I set up and I look around and obviously see nothing. And my whole arm, like just this arm, the left arm that I was trying to move so hard, like felt relieved or whatever. Like as if something had been holding it so that I couldn't move the whole time. And I fucking just laid there. Like, after I sat up, I laid back down, and the whole time that I just, like, I kept trying to move around, my arm was really fucked up. And uh, I couldn't go back to sleep. I kept, like, forcing myself not to sleep for, like, ten minutes, because I was so fucking scared. <sighs> it was fucking weird. So I helped. Yeah, I guess so. Like, <laughs> I, it's it seemed like you were there to help. It seemed like it. The first time Jim's is like in someone's dream actually helping. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a repetitive thing where I'm in somebody's dream. And, just and I'm just a dickhead in it. <clears throat> I don't know why. Or we have to eat all these pizza and uh... <laughs> yeah, That was my dream. <laughs> <laughs> it was your dream. You were a dick in your own dream. I, was, I, I had a dream there at our friend Les's house. He, he runs D&D &D for us. Really cool guy. He's he's one of the best GMs that I that's ever run stuff for me. Anyway, uh, like him him and his wife have been on a paleo diet for a while for various reasons, and like the dream that I had is that uh, we're at his house, but the kitchen was set up differently. And it was just me, Les, and Shane just talking about, like, it was after a night of D&D or whatever. And we were just talking about stuff. And I just picked up a dry erase marker, and I had a cup of water in front of me. I took the cap off, and I just put it into the water. Because I was like, oh, this is my marker. I'm going to do this because I think it'll be interesting. And then Les looked at me. He's like, what the fuck are you doing, man? That's my marker. And I was like, oh. I'm sorry. I thought it was mine. I'll buy you a new one. And he got super pissed. Immediately went, <laughs> No! 
Now we gotta eat all these pizzas! <laughs> and he picked up a stack of pizza from behind the counter and just slammed it on the countertop. So mad. And that was it. I woke up after that. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Uh, dreams are awesome. Except for when they're fucking scary. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> so... Dreams are awesome, except when they're not. <laughs> yeah. Everything's cool, except when it's not. So, I had... I, I'm pretty sure I was awake, too. But, like, I could move. I just didn't want to. Because I thought whatever it was was going to get me. Did you press the switch? I did. Did you? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, it went down. I'll go back to it. So... Before I went off to college, uh, I was just laying in my room one night, uh, and then it got to like, I woke up at a point where the sun was rising, so there was a little bit of light coming out from the hallway going into my room, but not a lot. Uh, I don't know why I woke up, and then I just looked over by my door, and I see a shadow just start creeping in from the top of the door frame. Oh, maybe it's that one? Like, it's rolling underneath the top of the door frame, and like, up onto the wall, and then onto the ceiling, and it's just slowly growing. And it's, it doesn't have any distinguished shape, it's just this black mass that was coming into my room and sneaking onto the ceiling. It was moving so fucking slow. But when I saw it, it just terrified me. And, like, I could move, and all I did was pull the blankets closer up to me, and I just laid there awake and stared at it for the longest fucking time. Wow, you're a fucking man. And it moved so slow, and just kept creeping more and more onto my ceiling, and then it was, like, bleeding out. And then, eventually I fell asleep, I guess, because then I woke up later in the day, and obviously it wasn't there. But I just remember feeling so fucking terrified. It was, it was creepy. Fuck face. Yeah, fuck face. Yeah, get out of here. Nah, no, just, no, just leave. leave. <laughs> yeah, that sounds terrifying and not okay. So, I got a bow. I'm gonna give it to fucking. Um, uh, most of my nightmares are first that I'm still in college. Oh no. <laughs> uh, and that I missed class and all that I'm gonna fail. That, that I'm gonna fill the course. Oh no! Damn. And that's it. That's re that's <laughs> that's super real. <laughs> yeah, it, it, and it's terrifying. I just like the dream starts. It's like, oh, I have to go have to go to class. It's like, oh shit, I haven't been in, like the past three weeks. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> and that's I, it. I haven't been since and the last just, time I had this dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's just a lot of stress. And then I wake up. It's strange how. Because I have, I have similar dreams, too. Like, dreams where I'm just back in school or back in whatever. And they're super dumb. I hate them. Because they stress me out, too. They yeah. do the same thing. where I, it's like, shit. And, and the dream always ends kind of the same way. Where I'm like... I don't go to school anymore. And then the dream is over. Like, everything changes to something else. <laughs> yeah. I should just wake up and then you have to, like, take a few minutes and be like, okay... I don't have to I'm go to school man. today. Yeah. <laughs> I have a job. Your brain's like, oh, dang, I almost got you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> I'll get you next time, Gadget. Uh, That's awesome. So, Ariel told me something super creepy the other day. She always says a lot of creepy stuff. <laughs> so, so uh, continue. It was yesterday. Because yesterday is when you went home early from work, right, Pablo? Yeah. Okay. So yesterday, uh, Ariel was <laughs> in our room, and the dogs were on the bed with her. And then, like, Echo immediately stands up and looks down the hallway and st starts freaking the fuck out. Like, growling and barking. What'd Toby do? Uh, Toby started following suit. Because he does that most of the time where he's just copying her. Sure. And then they both got down off of the bed, and they were like... So, like, one time, a couple years ago, I had a werewolf mask, and when we got the dogs, I just put it on <laughs> nice. and looked at them, and they both were like, What the fuck? 
and like got super scared and were just barking and being really jerky and Can't quick about here. stuff. And Ariel said that nope. they were behaving like that. But nobody was home. And she like called my name out, but I didn't say anything, obviously, because I wasn't there. So they kept freaking out. Uh, and then like they both run straight down the hallway and go to the guest bedroom that's right next to Pablo's. That's oh, the door's always closed. Yeah. And they just growl and bark at it a little bit more and yeah. then just stop. And then go back to the bedroom like nothing happened. And I'm like, what the fuck? Jeez. <clears throat> it's time to get rid of your dogs. What? No. What? They're my warning <laughs> signal. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, man. I, anyway, man. I don't know. Uh, didn't, like, Arrow had, like, a dream or something that there were some, like, monsters and shit in the house? And then at some point, I just get off my room, like, my mug to fill it up with water. Yeah. And just, like, up, just get water, come back to, go back to my room, close the door. <laughs> like... <laughs> There's these, no, there's, we were like in a sec, in a two story house instead of the one story that we have, and there's these weird, ghoulish looking people, as she put it, without eyes that just floated up to the windows and started like bashing on them, wanting in. Super creepy. Oh, you can go. Uh, oh, fuck. and it was on the second story, and then she runs downstairs to get me, and like I apparently followed her up. I'm like, what are you talking about? You're being weird. And then, like, we saw them, and apparently we had a shitload more windows than a house ever needs, and they were just at all of the windows, and there was a fuck ton of them. And they're, and we were both freaking out, and the dogs were freaking out, and they're all, like, clawing and scratching at the glass. And Pablo comes out of his room, goes to the kitchen, fills his cup, and walks back to his room. Before he, like, opens his door, he just, like... Gives us a thumbs up, and then close. It goes into his room and closes his door. You guys got it. <laughs> I have water. Everything's cool. It's uh, uh, more scary stories next episode. Maybe. See ya. Woo-hoo.